Howdy folks and uh, welcome to the third instalment of my analysis of the Mozart clarinet concerto. We are now at the third movement. Uh, this is probably my favourite movement of the piece behind of course the uh, beautiful um, adagio. And uh, you only really need uh, two items of your technique in order to play this movement, uh, that is staccato and arpeggios uh, and sometimes your staccato and the arpeggios so what I would recommend before you play this piece is to practice your repeated note scales um, to get that staccato nice and clean crisp and light and also practice um, your arpeggios and broken chords uh, rips along at a nice little pace let me get this started part of the piece which is uh, the lovely staccato. I'd probably, probably recommend you don't take any breaths in this um, so you're not late. Let's, um, let's hear this again. <laughs> Whole move. 
movements very um, joyous and lively. Um, and this bit at 57, um, you're right, you're also playing with the first, you're also sort of playing up the first violin, so you can have another bit. <laughs> at bar 62 um, I incorporated as much of the basic clarinet as I could because uh, actually what it really wanted to do <laughs> la, la. but we can't do that so it, um, it makes it sound a lot uh, more homogenous <laughs> Arpeggio staccato fest. Um, and also at bar 92, I would take a little time, and the orchestra lets you do it on this particular occasion. <laughs> sort of series of diminuendos. Now 
Now for this top E flat, I would use the E flat fingering, but take as much of your finger off this hole as possible, because it is a flat note. And here, develop the note, develop the G a little bit, but then let it um, meld into the, into the next phrase. clarinet would have gone down the octave there. I think I've heard that in one of Tony Pay's recordings, or maybe Michael Collins. But anyway, let's go on. And here again, here's your staccato and your arpeggios, yada yada. <laughs> that the basic clarinet part would have gone down to that low C so because I mean you've got this and I think that probably would have liked to have gone down to that low C and here 
Yeah, in the next bit, I think the basic clarinet. I think it's it's um, absolutely dying to get down to that low part. Um, and here I leave the key off the top D because I can because you've got to get down to the C anyway. Again, take advantage of the, the, the wonderful shallow register. <laughs> now here I would desperately like to take time. Um, the recording doesn't allow me to do that. And then the same bizzo here as before. Okay, so let's um, let's take this back a bit more. going to, to, to Newto and Rubato a bit on the quavers but still be in time. There is there is a way to do it. of the recording because they don't give you any indication of when they're going to start again which is why it didn't sound right and again make use of the shallow mode
This is again a Shalomo, a uh, basset part which I've, which has been adapted for the, for the uh, the normal E low E clarinet, and you'll hear that. So let's um, let's rock this baby to the end. See how much time we've got? Okay. So let's uh, rock this baby to the end, and then um, I'll play it all the way through. Thank you. 
gotten some um, useful tips out of it um, please email any further questions you may have um, and any further requests as to piece use pieces you would like me to analyze for you um, and also be sure to check out uh, my analyses of the Brahms sonatas um, I might go back and reanalyze them because now I have HD and um, uh, and uh, uploads of longer than 15 minutes, which is really, really cool. So, uh, that's the uh, Mozart Clarinet Concerto. I'm stuffed and I need a drink. Um, hope to see you soon sometime. Bye for now. <laughs>